Ah, uh, like again, and hello, it's Fo. Welcome back to Magic Monday. I want to speak to you about pre-release. So it's an event that you can go to when a new set comes out, just before it's available. And you get a kit, a little box with a fancy divider and everything, all themed around the set. You get a dice, which I somehow managed to lose at the event. Some pop-out tokens, some plus one, plus ones, and things like that, that you usually see in the commander decks. And six booster packs. And much like with draft, you just got to make a deck there and then. But you can go down to just 40 cards. So usually fine, going with two colours. Sometimes you need to stretch out to three colours. So you get one special card that's stamped and my one was an enchantment, black and white, beginning your end step, if you gained life, each opponent loses a life, and if you gained life and lost life, then you get to make a bat token. I was able to play it because I had a bunch of rares. But two rare bats, like, yeah, sure, let's make this black and white bat deck. The problem with this one, the ogre, generally lost me the game every time I <laughs> played it. Because <laughs> I was drawing extra cards, but losing life. I'm just unlucky, I wasn't hitting any lands, you know. I didn't have many ways of gaining the life back. That was the problem. If I'd had more cards that I was able to gain life back, I'd be okay splashed red so I could have this infamous cruel claw <laughs> a mythic weasel yes of course and these are the uncommons that I used a few good equipment this short bow was pretty good it was winning games <laughs> so yeah you've just got to play with what you've got make up a deck. So I did splash a couple of red cards in. As I say, if I'd got more bats or ways to gain life, I would have included them. Obviously the blue and green cards that I opened went by the wayside, they weren't that good. I did get a couple of blue rares, but they weren't uh, to do with creatures, you know, you want to be creature based when you're playing draft or you're doing this sort of uh, game plan, you know, everyone's playing creatures. It's unlikely you're going to open enough cards to make a good combo or a good uh, sort of spells deck. There's plenty of otters in this set that have prowess, so you could make a red and blue prowess deck if you open the right cards, I suppose. Some great cards in this set, that's why I went to the pre-release. It's good to overcome social anxiety to go to one of these events. <laughs> yeah, a bunch of cute creatures. Yeah, lizards and assassins. So yeah, a few of these things I managed to include. Just through necessity, you've just got to make do with what you've got. It was a very friendly environment that you didn't uh, didn't matter how well you did when you played the games. Everyone got two packs as a prize, and these are the cards that I would add into the deck from those two packs. And these two, whenever you attack, you gain a life. This was another prize that we got. I remember him from a, a few years back. But yeah, if I wasn't playing standard, that would be a good addition to the deck. These are the rares that didn't make it in, because they weren't in the right colours. But yeah, you could make a red and blue sort of non-creature deck, or creatures with prowess. This is what I opened in the prize packs. Storm Splitter is pretty good. Shiny land. 
I'm a sucker for shiny lands. <laughs> so yeah, that was the haul I got. Each one of them, the pre-release kits, comes with these codes. I'm not going to use it, so fastest fingers first. Get the code in. If you play Arena, get some free packs on me. So yeah, pre-release, I recommend it. Come back next time and speak about Commander. Until then, take it easy. I'll see you in the next one.